Because everybody is trying to get your ear. Everybody is trying to get your eyes. Everything in the world is trying to get your time. But if you're going to be a positive in a negative world, you're going to have to spend more time keeping the word in front of you. Welcome to A Father's Heart with Dr. Phil Godot. Dr. Brenda Godot. We are a family-friendly church that teaches the Word of God so you can live an effective Christ-centered life. This is where the Word works when you work the Word. And now, our A Father's Heart broadcast. But when you start having expectations, look, watch this here. When you start believing things can get better for you, you stand out like a sore thumb. Because the whole world is negative. It's all negative. See, and so when you start having expectation and you start believing for good things and expecting exciting new things going to happen for you, listen to me, that's when people are going to start attacking you, talking about you, and saying, oh, yeah, you done got weird now. You done went over to that Calvary Christian Center. That Dr. Godot done messed you up over there. Yeah, see, they don't want you. See, the world, the world, Satan, the world, the darkness of the kingdom, they don't want you to start believing because we found out in the Bible and God's word is true. And God said he's the God of expectation. He wants you to believe because it gives him a legal right to intervene and to manifest himself on your behalf. So you can't sit around here and play tiddly winks and, and spades and, 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 and uno. No, no, you need to start playing. You need to start reading this word. Get into the word. Speak the word. Okay, here we go. Come on. Then it becomes a tree of life. Then people start seeing it. See, 35 years ago in March, I'd be pastor. 35 years. This church, 35 years. You know what happened? You know what happened? When we started, Brenda and I started, we started speaking what we see right now. We started talking about we're going to impact the city. We're going to take the city for Jesus. We're going to do this. God's going to bless us with these buildings. We started talking what God was going to do when all the churches were basically saying what God wasn't going to do. They were saying that God is a mean God, and we were saying God is a good God. We were saying God's a healing God, and they said, well, you never know. And there was this different thing, but we were had expectation. And boy, did people put their mouth on the brother. I mean, they put their mouth on me, called me all kind of names. But see, my job was to keep expecting. I, I couldn't allow those 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 games and those negative people who had no expectation to hold me back from my expectation by listening to what they had to say. I had to keep believing. Listen to me. I had to keep walking on the, I got out the boat. See, I'm trying to get you out the boat where you can be some water walkers in here. See, I'm raising up water walkers in here. Turn to neighbor and say, I'm believing to be a water walker. Come on, I'm believing to be a, all right, all right, okay. Watch this here. Watch this here. Peter started walking on the water, but then when he began to look at the circumstances, listen to what the negative thing people said or whatever was happening, the Bible says he began to sink. And I'm trying to get you back on top of the water. I'm trying to get you to experience what God has for you. Watch this here. Watch what it said. And it becomes a tree of life. In other words, you, when you, you start speaking what you believe, you start expecting it, then people are going to hear it, and then guess what's going to happen? Eventually, God, because he said it's going to come to you and it's going to become a tree, then guess what happened? When they see it, people are going to get so blessed behind you and what God did for you, it's going to minister to them and cause them to start expecting. Amen. It becomes a tree of life. Right now, all of y'all in here because of what Brendan and I believe. Look at all the people in here. I, this is my third service today. Every one of them. I've been ministering to thousands of people today. Why? Because, because I never gave up on what God spoke to me, what I believe for. And I'm telling you, listen to me. I'm saying that this is going to be your biggest and greatest year. And I'm saying if God's going to bless anybody, you're going to be blessed. If anybody's going to get healed, you're going to get healed. If anybody's going to get a financial breakthrough, you're going to get it. Right. 
Turn me to turn me in your Bible. Turn me in your Bible to the book of uh, Matthew, sixth chapter. Matthew six. Matthew the sixth chapter. Matthew six. Oh God, where's Matthew? <laughs> Matthew the sixth chapter. Amen. Are you in Matthew the sixth chapter? Look at Matthew the sixth chapter. Amen. Get your under, underline. I know. I underline. I know y'all can't do all that stuff with that. Matthew six verse twenty two. Matthew 6, verse 22. Look at this here. Watch this here. Revelation. Let's let it flow. Here we go. Matthew 6. And it says here, and it says, the light. Come on, put brackets around that word light. The light of the what? Body. body. Is the light of the body is the eye. Come on, read it out loud. One, one, two. One, two, three. Say it out loud. Whoa. The light of the body is the eye. Watch this here. I say that the light of the body is your future. I say that your future is your body, and you determine what your future is going to be by what you see. You're going to determine what you, how you see it is what you're going to receive. Watch this here. So I am where I am now, and I have what I have now, but what I saw in the past. I'm only experiencing where I am now, so I can't complain about what I'm having now, but I can change my situation by getting a new eye. Watch this here. Getting a new future. Seeing better things happening for me. Come on, help. Come on, here we go. Watch this here. The, the light of the body is the what? If, now I'm going to do a whole message. I'm going to do a whole message on just the word if. If. Watch what it is. Watch this. Circle that word if. Look at this. If, if, therefore thy eye be single. Single. Look what it says here. Thy whole future shall be full of light. Now, watch what happened. The enemy starts working real hard to try to get you to start looking and singing negative things. But if I can stay what? Positive. If I can keep believing, having those expectations, then watch what's happening. He says, then your whole life, body, or your whole future. Amen. Y'all got that over here? Yes. Your whole future. Yes. Watch this here. It's not a about what has happened to you. It's about what's happening to you. See, if you can change your attitude about what has happened to you now, it's not what already happened to you. I can change what's getting ready to happen through me and what God is getting ready to do for me if I can start changing my eye. If your eye, now he's not talking about these eye balls here. He's talking about your attitude, and how you look at things. If I can see my, with the, my light of my eye is full of light, then my whole body will be full of light. But if my eye, look what it says here. Let me read verse 22. If the light of the body is the eye, therefore thy eye being single, thy whole body shall be full of what? Or what we can say good things. Great things. How many of y'all want bigger and greater things in your life? See, it's how you, come on, how you look at it, how you see it. Okay, here we go. Come on, verse 23. But, what's the next word? If, but if thy what? Be evil. If your eye be evil. Look what it says here. If you got a negative eye, if you got a doubtful eye, if you got an eye, oh, it's never going to be get better. Then look what it says here. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body or your whole future shall be full of darkness. Ain't that something? See, some people, they wonder why things ain't changing because of what they're looking at. It's how they look at things. Then your whole body or your whole future will be full of darkness or evil. Until you change, 
till you change. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Right. Look what it says here. I know, I know y'all ain't happy now, huh? Y'all ain't happy. Oh, now y'all ain't, y'all ain't shouting now. Because see, now the ball is in your court now. Come on. Oh, okay, here we go. Come on. All right, I'm with you. I'm cool. I got you. I got you. Look what it says here. If thy eye be evil, negative, doubtful, critical, unforgiving, bitter, that whole body or your whole future will be the same way. But look what it says here. If, there's the word if again, if therefore the light, watch this here, the light, somebody say light, underline it, the light, the light that is in thee be what? Wow, come on. If the light that is in you be darkened. In other words, you have the light. How many, anybody in here born again? Anybody born again? Anybody born again? Come on, okay, seven of you. Okay, and you did seven. You said, listen to me. When you become born again, God fills you with light. Yes. See, you were born again to be positive, yes. to be positive, to have expectation, because he's the God of expectation. But see, what the enemy wants to do is to turn the positive or the light in you to darkness. Yes. And you have to fight to stay positive in negative situations. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You got to fight. Turn to neighbor and say, Fight! You got to fight. What does it mean? I had to fight. I've been married next year in a couple of weeks. I'll be married 42 years. 42 years. 40, 42 years. Do you know I've had to fight to stay married? Because my wife gave me all kind of problems. I don't know why I feel doubt and unbelief in here. I mean, Brenda gave me all kinds of challenges. How many know anytime you start trying to move forward in your life, you got to fight to try to keep it because the enemy is going to bring things in there to try to break you up. Come on. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Don't y'all be going telling Brenda that I said Are you waiting for God to answer your prayers? In Dr. Godot's message, Expecting Kingdom Manifestations, you'll learn that in order to receive from God, you must have a spirit and attitude of expectation. Everything that is in the Bible, if it's in the Bible, it's in the Word, and it has anything to do with the covenant or my rights or privilege, I'm expecting, come on, Kingdom Manifestations. As you stand on God's Word, you should always expect He will fulfill His promises in your life. God wants to fulfill your greatest desires, but you must expect that He will first. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. Quit complaining and griping about what hasn't happened. Won't you just let the past be past? Expectation brings manifestation. Order your copy today. Won't you start believing for something big to happen for you? March Miracles has arrived in Sacramento. Calvary Christian Center presents five inspirational speakers to get you started this spring. Some uplifting speakers include Kenneth Copeland, Dr. Price, Marilyn Hickey, and others. They'll make appearances during the entire month of March. For more information concerning dates and details on March Miracles, just log on to our website at CavalryChristian.com. March Miracles has arrived in the capital city at Calvary Christian Center. Come on, come on, verse 23. Remember, you got to watch your mouth. Here we go. <laughs> but if thy eye be evil, thy whole body or your whole future, if you look at things negative, you're going to have nothing but more negativity in your life. And you wonder why. Why do keep they keep negative things keep happening to me? Why bad things keep happening to me? Because you negative. Did I spit on you? Did I spit on you? You should pray that I spit on you. It's healing in this spit, baby. Remember, Jesus spit on folks and they got healed. Y'all should pray. I pray that Pastor spit on me today. Look what it says. If therefore the light that is in, the, in thee be darkened, darkness, darkness, how great is that darkness? 
Now look at me in Proverbs. Turn me in Proverbs. Turn me in Proverbs, the fourth chapter. Proverbs, the fourth chapter. So I have to fight. Somebody say fight. fight. I have to fight to be able to keep myself in a positive attitude. That's why you can't be around negative people and believe that you're going to be positive when you're around negative people. Come on, somebody. You can't, you got to fight. Listen, I had to try to keep my, I'd rather go home and pet my dog than be around some people. Because they're so negative, they want to talk about, oh, you know, it's this, and you know this, and it's always something else, but it's never about them. And it's always about you. It's always about your attitude. It's always about your faith. It's always about your believing. Oh, y'all don't like this? No, I know you don't like it because nobody wants to take the responsibility for themselves. We want to blame everybody else. But if your life is going to get better because you're going to take some responsibility. <laughs> Woo Where did I tell y'all to go, boy? Oh, Lord, Lord, I pray I can get out of here alive today. Come on, come on, where I tell you to go? Proverbs 4, verse 20. Proverbs 4, verse 20. Put it on the screen. Proverbs 4, verse 20. Now, I told you, write this down, write this down, write this down in your note. I told you last week, I said, you only qualify for what you see. Write it down in your notes. You only qualify for what you see. For what you what? See. If you can't see it, you can't what? You can't have it. You only qualify for what you see. There, there's something you're not seeing and it's costing you everything. If you can't see yourself healed, you can't see yourself with a better life, it's costing you for the lack of seeing or the lack of expectation. It's costing you in Jesus' name. Now look at Proverbs. Proverbs, the fourth chapter, verse 20. It says, my son, any sons or daughters in here? Same seven people, same seven people. My son, attend to my word. Come on, say it loud. Attend to my word. And look at it. Attend to them. Pay close attention to my word. Listen to me. Pay close attention to my word. Pay close attention to my word. And then he says, uh, and then he says, incline thy ear unto my sayings or my word. The word incline means to bend your ear. Amen. You got to bend your ear. You know why? Because everybody is trying to get your ear. Everybody is trying to get your eyes. Everything in the world is trying to get your time. But if you're going to be a positive in a negative world, you're going to have to spend more time keeping the word in front of you. Amen. You got to keep the word in front of you. And today you can get the word on your tablet. You can get it on your iPhone. You can read it out your Bible. You got to keep the word in front of you if you're going to be positive. See, there you cannot live this life and be successful without the word. Push your neighbor and say, you better pay attention right now. Push them hard. Tell them, you better pay attention right now. You can't live this life and be successful without the what? Without the word. You can't do it. That's why you got to be able to spend more time and every day you got to get, you can't go to bed at night, read the word or get up in the morning, read the word. Keep the word in front of you because the word is what's going to set you free. Amen. It's going to keep your eyes. See, the word is positive and that's why the enemy. So incline, my son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sayings, verse 21. And he said, and let them not depart from your eyes. Keep the word in your eyes when you're going through some of the hardest times, when the enemy is trying to steal your expectation, trying to steal your believing. Keep the word in front of you. Amen. Let them not depart from thy eye. Let them not depart from thy eye. Come on, say it. Let them not depart from thy eye. Look what's the next word. What's the next word? Key. Any military people in here? Military? Military. Military. Any of y'all ever been on guard duty? Anybody been on guard duty? Yes. Stand up, baby. Stand up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Been on guard duty? Yes. Now, when you go to, when you're, and you're on guard duty, can you just walk away from the, your post anytime you want to or lay down and go to sleep? No, what will happen to you if you do that? You can die or your partner can die. Your partners could die, you could die, or you can be court martial and should be put to death.
Why? Because people are dependent upon you staying on your post. Your life is dependent upon you keeping. That word keeps me to guard and protect with your life. Keep them, the word, in the midst of your heart. Why? Look at the next verse. Look at the next verse. Look at the next verse. For they are life. The word is life unto those that what? If you ain't finding it, I know that's not good too. Ain't finding it. I did it again, huh? If, you, if you're not finding it, you ain't getting it. They are life unto those that what? That's why, that's why your success this year and your breakthrough and God's miracle working power is going to be based upon you keeping the word in front of you. And it says, for they are life unto those that find them. And look what it says here. And health to all your flesh. That means you ain't got to run to CVS. See, what is it? CVS or whatever the thing is. Uh, Long's Drugstore, all them drugstores. And come on, you ain't got to just run to uh, whatever the, them drugstores. Listen to me. But we, I, you just keep the word in front of you and the word is healing to your flesh. Now, I'm not saying you might not have to go there, but at least the first thing you do, at least put the word inside of you. Give God a chance to all your flesh. Now, look with me in Numbers, the 13th chapter. Numbers 13. Numbers 13. So the enemy works real hard. See, he doesn't want your life to be changed. He doesn't want you to have, start having expectation to anticipate uh, to start expecting things to start changing in your life. But I declare today things are changing already. You know, I was, I was, I was, in, a, I was, at a, I was in a meeting, and I was with all these big-name pastors, and one of them started talking negative about another pastor. And I said, I'm not going to sit here and let you talk about him. My son, Philip, was with me. My son, Philip, like, fell off the seat almost. I can't believe my dad's rebuking this big name pastor. I said, I'm not going to sit around. I don't let nobody be negative around me or allow them to talk that kind of stuff because, see, I'm not a garbage dump. And you're not going to assume that you can just say anything and drop it inside of me and I'm going to sit there act like I'm going to just listen to you and you fool around here and defile me or make, make me toxic like you toxic. I said, no, you ain't going to talk about him like that. You wrong, and you need to repent. That's it. My son felt like, oh, my God, look at that daddy. I, I, I think I embarrassed him. But it, I, I, I was trying to save the man's life. Amen. So everybody can't handle rebuke. Amen. But rebuke is good for you. It makes you wiser. Yes. And I, anyway, I, I, I did, did that. And, and, and uh, what? Two years later, or less than that, the end, the guy had a massive heart attack and died. Wow. You know why? Because he didn't receive the rebuke. He did, he'd rather stay negative and rather talk about people than to change himself. That's right. That's right. That's right. See, are you going to stay where you are, or are you going to make some changes in your life? Listen to me. Everything can change in your life if you change. Now that you heard the word, it's important for you to respond to it. Now you need to say yes to him. To open the door to your heart and to let Jesus Christ come in is the biggest and greatest thing that could ever happen to you. So just say this with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I open the door to my heart and I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for coming into my life, for giving my sins and giving me a right relationship with you. If you just did that, your life is a new. You are a new person in Christ Jesus. Call us, write us. We'd like to give you a free book, New Creation in Christ, and we'd like to be able to stay in touch with you. Write us, call us, email us, do something. Thank, congratulations on your new walk in Christ. Are you waiting for God to answer your prayers? In Dr. Godot's message, Expecting Kingdom Manifestations, you'll learn that in order to receive from God, you must have a spirit and attitude of expectation. Everything that is in the Bible, if it's in the Bible, it's in the Word, and it has anything to do with the covenant or my rights or privilege, I'm expecting, come on, Kingdom Manifestations.
As you stand on God's Word, you should always expect He will fulfill His promises in your life. God wants to fulfill your greatest desires, but you must expect that He will first. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. Quit complaining and griping about what hasn't happened. Won't you just let the past be past? Expectation brings manifestation. Order your copy today. Won't you start believing for something big to happen for you? During March Miracles, we have several special events planned for you. You're invited to come out and immerse yourself in the spirit of praise as we honor God for His goodness and mercy during our night of worship. He really appreciates it because, as you know, He inhabits the praises of His people. It's a night of worship at Calvary. Plus, get your giggles and laughs on at our Laugh Out Loud Christian Comedy Night. Come experience how laughter truly makes a heart merrier. No serious faces allowed. It's time to get your funny on at our hilarious Laugh Out Loud Christian Comedy Night. For all of our March Miracles and other upcoming events, just log on to our website at calvarychristian.com. March Miracles has arrived in Sacramento. Calvary Christian Center presents five inspirational speakers to get you started this spring. Some uplifting speakers include Kenneth Copeland, Dr. Price, Marilyn Hickey, and others. They'll make appearances during the entire month of March. For more information concerning dates and details on March Miracles, just log on to our website at CavalryChristian.com. March Miracles has arrived in the capital city at Calvary Christian Center. Fellowship Covenant Ministries International is just weeks away from launching a brand new service exclusively for our members. We're taking our ministry and business training programs out of the classroom and placing them live on the Internet. Our staff understands that we all have very busy and active lives. That's why we're bringing classes directly to your laptop, smartphone, or device. We're now crafting online training modules to help you strategically build your ministry or business. From the convenience of your home or even at work, you'll be able to watch live seminars on topics such as how to use multimedia and social media to market your organization, the basics of business planning and expansion. And if you miss a live event, it will always be available to watch at your convenience. Fellowship Covenant Ministries International is just weeks away from launching a brand new service exclusively for our members. Stay tuned. It's Calvary Christian Center wants you to prayerfully consider supporting our community outreach efforts through the Safe Haven Homeless Ministry in Sacramento. We pray, Father, today that your hand would be upon them in a big, powerful, and mighty way, that their lives will never be the same again. It's showing the people's hope. Would you like a patient? We are fulfilling the gospel by feeding the hungry and often forgotten. So we come here every Sunday and help out. Because a lot of people out here, they feel that people don't love them. They feel that people don't have no compassion for them. And they feel that they are lost call. Once again, this is a great opportunity for you to restore hope to others through our Safe Haven Homeless Ministry. Your financial gifts or time as a volunteer is appreciated. This has been a Philip Godot Ministries broadcast.